Although Jack McCullough maintains his innocence, Detective Mike Szynski says he knew immediately after interviewing Jack that he was lying and believes he abducted and murdered seven-year-old Maria Ridoff 55 years ago. Now, Mike is joining us now. Uh, Mike, what was it about this case that made you say you knew this man was guilty from the minute you sat down and talked to him? He started changing his stories. And one of the main things that also did to me is the way he described Maria Rudolph as mm -hmm. this beautiful little girl with these big brown eyes and how she was so gorgeous and he would sit on a stoop and watch her come down the street with his three buddies. And uh, he would turn to the boys and say, God, isn't she just gorgeous? You went back to the neighborhood with him. Is that when he talked about watching her? Well, he, well, he mentioned that numerous times, but uh, we were in the car driving back uh, to Sycamore, we were driving past uh, the crime scene. And without even talking, I knew where we were going. We were driving by and we were watching him. And he just started turning his neck and really started looking all around the area. And I brought up to him, I said, hey, Jack, you remember this area? He goes, oh, I remember this area very, very well. Now, DeKalb County State's attorney, Clay Campbell, says he got the creeps watching Jack McCullough's interrogation after hearing him get excited while he described watching young girls in his neighborhood play. Uh, Clay is joining us now via Polycom. Tell us what it was that you're referring to and what it was he said and did that, that got your creep meter pegging. Well, after some initial meetings with the Illinois State Police and the various uh, police agencies that were assisting us, um, we actually had him picked up out in Seattle and they interviewed him, sent some police officers out there to interview him at the police station in Seattle. And we got that tape sent back here, set in the office, my uh, state attorney's office in Cal County. And what you heard on that tape, everybody in the room was basically shocked that you were listening to somebody that was describing a little girl 55 years ago, almost as if, you know, he was in love with her. I remember one of the detectives with me said, I think he was in love with her. His affect would change, the tone of his voice would change, and you could tell that he was viscerally reacting still to his feelings about this little girl after all these years, and it gave us all the chills as we sat there in the room. And you said Jack actually had a book uh, that was relevant to girls in the neighborhood. The next morning, one of the FBI reports indicated that he was seen up at the recruiting station in Rockford, and he looked ashen and ghost-like, and he had a fresh scar on his lip. And in his possession was a black book, a little black book, that had the names of all the girls in Singapore that were around, the teenagers, and it had their measurements written out to the side of the particular name. 